Hi and welcome to AssuranceOverheadDoors.com. We'd like to thank you for visiting the website today. And in this small video, I want to demonstrate probably one of the most frequently calls that we get, and that's from people who call and say, our garage door won't shut. And what we're looking at here is what's called a photo safety sensor. And pretty much all the sensors made by LiftMaster, Craftsman, Sears, um, or basically Chamberlain products will all look just like this. Now, if you have a Genie product or a Lanier product or any of the other ones, they, make, they may look a little different, but they do generally the same thing. And this sensor right here basically shoots a beam all the way across your door to the other beam. There's another beam on the other side. But if you've ever been at home and uh, maybe you were about to leave or you're just trying to shut your door and you see this happen. Now, I've got the garage door opener disengaged from the door just so that I can show you with the door down. It's quite cold today, but I want to be able to get enough lighting in here where you can see. But if right now, I'm just going to press the button, and if the door was attached to it right now, the door would be in the up position, and you'll kind of see what happens here. I press the button and the door, again, if it was attached, act like it wanted to come down and came back up. And the lights on the unit, if you notice, started blinking. Anytime the lights on an opener, any type of unit, any type of Chamberlain, LiftMaster, Craftsman, Sears, Access Master, start to blink, it's basically an indication that there's an issue with the photo safety sensor system. And that could be that you have a sensor that's bad, or you could just have a sensor that's offline. And so, again, coming back over and looking at this particular sensor, it has kind of an amber color on it, or yellow. This is what we know as, our, as basically the sender. It's the one that sends the beam across. You could take this one and point it at the ceiling, and it would still, uh, it would still be on. It would not go off. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk over here to the green sensor. Your other one on the other side will be green. Let's see if I can this camera just right so you can see everything good. If you'll notice, this green, even though it's on, it has a slight flicker to the actual green. And that's enough not to allow this door to come on, uh, to, to shut. That's why the unit is blinking. Now it could be even where, and I'm gonna kind of knock this offline, where the light's not even on at all. Now this could happen because somebody's hit this, they've bumped it, they've knocked it loose, or even this wing nut, wing nut that you see here has come loose. So basically all you're going to do is move the sensor until the sensor becomes solid green. Again, we don't want a flicker like this. It's gotta be a solid, solid green. And once it is, then you just take the wing nut and then you just hold, you're holding the photo eye and then you're just tightening that wing nut up as tight as you can tie it. So now, even when I hit it or bump it, Again, they're not, I mean, they're in there pretty good. It's a solid green. Now, another thing that could also be an issue here is uh, cobwebs. Sometimes spiders put a lot of cobwebs around these. You wanna make sure you keep the lens on these relatively clean. Uh, if they're clean, then it's gonna have the solid green light like what you see here. So now, when I walk over to the door opener, and again, I've got the door disengaged from the opener, but it's in the up position. Now, when I press the button, if the door was attached, of course, you'll see the trolley here moving, the door would be shutting. And the light, if you notice, it didn't stop coming back up, so the light's not blinking because we now have a solid green light on this side meaning that it's seen the other photo cell perfectly. Now, a lot of times, even if um, people will call in and say, I have to hold the button down and it will go ahead and shut. Anytime you press and hold this button, you have to hold it the entire time for it to shut, then that's a manual override of the photo safety sensor system. So if you press and hold that, it will shut the door, even if you have one of your sensors offline. Again, that's just a manual override. Um, so I hope this uh, demonstration has kind of helped you out. Uh, again, if you're having this problem, 
that's what you want to look at. Now, if I was over here and then I was adjusting the photo safety sensors and that green light just would not come on, these sensors over time do burn out. Uh, they're basically on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, unless you have one of the newer type units that actually they will turn off when there's no activity. Uh, and then they come back on whenever the unit's used. So that does help those. Uh, but a lot of the older units uh, do not have that, that capability where they're trying to conserve energy. So they're lit up all the time. So if you have an issue with your garage door or your garage door opener and uh, you can't figure it out, feel free to give us a call at 918-259-5050. If you're here in the Tulsa, Broken Arrow, Jinx, Owasso, uh, basically uh, the green country area, give us a call and we can be out there the same day many a times if you call us by noon out there, have one of our techs out there the same day to uh, see what your problem is and get you fixed up. And again, we wanna thank you for choosing assuranceoverheaddoors.com. We hope this helps you.